Hi everyone, welcome to Techie Review. Today I wanted to show you how you can clone your Mac hard disk and this is really useful if you want to just increase, you know, you've got a new hard disk, you've got a larger hard disk and you want to swap it out but don't want to have to go through all the hassle of actually reinstalling everything or you want to try out a new Mac OS beta but you don't want to do it on your live system but you want to try out all your apps. So this is a very simple way to clone your hard disk onto a new larger hard disk or SSD or something like that and it's really really simple. So the first thing you want to do is head over and download a piece of software called SuperDuper. Now it's free to download, very quick to download and go ahead and install that. Once that's downloaded go ahead and open it up and to install just double click on the SuperDuper icon. Now I went and installed mine in the applications folder, just, just more for ease really. Now when SuperDo opens, you will actually get some instructions. So go ahead and read that if you're not familiar with the, this application. If you are, just go ahead and close it. And what we need to do is select where we're going to copy from and where we're copying to. So the source and the destination. Now make sure where you're copying to is completely blank. You've got no files on there because you will get those deleted. So all we're going to do is just select backup. That's just telling you where we're copying from, where we're copying to. There are some options you choose or some advanced options you can choose. I just left all those. I didn't bother changing anything there. And then when you're ready, click copy now. Enter your password. And off you go. Once the copy is complete, I was presented with a please register screen. I just went ahead and clicked later and then that should take you back to the main screen. Now the only thing that's left to do is restart your Mac. Make sure you boot into the boot options so you can select your new hard disk to boot from and then you are all good to go. Now I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you all next time.